Okay guys, here's another undead video. I haven't made an Infinity Wars video in a while. Uh, the main idea is pretty much like in the actual arena itself. You want to center all their guys onto a few troops and then um, you want to keep those troops alive and then you want to pummel um, the rest of the guys with your guys that can't tank as well. So here we go. I have the couple of brawlers up front with this uh, soul hunter and autos off Dracula in the back so what happens a soul hunter goes in there with the brawlers and pretty much all those undead soldiers and hell um, jailers they all just focus on those guys so they get a little pile there uh, my pilgrims can heal them keep them all healed up and then Dracula with his ability uh, allows when damage is done to recoup that damage so the cannons and the range just pelt away and hopefully keep everybody in a nice little bundle there and don't lose any troops so the rear attack of a few uh, ghost assassins isn't really enough to damage um, your guys so you see in the back they just kind of spread out and the damage the cannons do are enough to mitigate the damage it'll take from the ghost assassins and then you got your brawlers and um, have my harbingers of fire back there and they're tanking and they do enough damage to get healed by um, Dracula so they're not really losing anything so I'm not really losing any guys here and you just want to keep an eye on that with this one and the other infinity wars if you start hemorrhaging guys or they start dying like uh, say some of my um, brawlers died or some pilgrims did. They weren't able to heal good enough to keep my main guys alive that are tanking everything. And then those guys, those uh, uh, undead soldiers would make quick work of my cannons once they got in amongst them. So they'd really start killing them off fast. Um, <clears throat> as with all the Infinity Wars, there's a lot of uh, random number generator RNG stuff. So you can have one form that gets you like a high super high score and then you do the same one and it'll get like way less or maybe even more so um this one i just removed a couple ballistas that i had in there threw in some more cannons they do some they do more damage technically this should be more damage than my 814 million record but i just ran this uh, last time we got be 700 and I think 770 million. So we're at over 400 million on the halfway point already. So that can all depend on like if the guys start spreading out, your damage is going to be less um, because the closer they are together, the more cannons can hit them all at once. So the more damage you're going to do. So if you can get those guys into a tight little bundle somehow, like a Kraken type thing. Uh, you can do way more damage so that can be a big cause for your rng for like how much damage you're actually doing so um, right now you can see the most of his troops are in a nice little pile there and therefore we're able to just blast away with our cannons okay so we lost one troop there not sure what we lost if a cannon got killed usually our goblin tech will just rebuild it so maybe it was a it's hard to say what we lost, guys, but that's kind of negligible. Um, generally, with this form, I tend to lose a couple, but uh, you don't want to be losing more than that. Usually, the brawlers and the pilgrims are enough to, with the Dracula heels to just keep everybody alive there. So that's 600 million right now, and we're cranking in a lot of damage there. Every round, every barrage of cannon fire is just really doing some damage. So it's looking almost like three, maybe three mil per second. Um, I should clear 800 million with this one pretty easy, and this one should be a new record for me. But um, yeah, just some strategy. If you don't have this many cannons, if you don't have a Dracula, Dracula really helps with the Infinity Wars. Um, it's just the ability to, everyone that does damage gets healed. So you put in your damage dealers. Um, the main thing, keep your tanks alive. Those tanks keep all your uh, guys occupied off of your damage dealers and you just fire away. So 
Um, in most Affinity Wars, the area of effect guys, the guys that do multiple damage to multiple targets, are going to be your better things. Um, I, I just have the Brawlers in there to throw the shields and mitigate damage, so... Uh, those are my single hitters in there, but the Harbingers of Fire hit multiples, the Cannons hit multiples, Orc Hunters hit multiples, Magic Apprentices hit multiples, and we're going to break uh, 800, but not going to get my 814 million, which is a little strange because the Cannons replaced, I replaced some Ballistas with Cannons, so I thought that would have been more damage. But like I said, there's some RNG, and maybe that was placing Dracula in the back. I placed him on the left-hand side last time, and I got me... <sighs> 30 million less so yeah anyways you can see the difference in the ballistas some have 14 million oh well that's stupid i have another 10 ballista and i don't have him in there so right there that cost me some millions right there probably would have put me over my record uh so i have Two ten releases, I only have three, then uh, two, one of them in there. So, um, anyways, guys, this one will get you a pretty high score. I'm in level uh, 20, I believe. And that just put me over 800 million. That'll get me the number one spot. So, it still seems like a lot of people haven't figured out the undead one. Um, I Generally, I rank first in this one. Maybe people don't watch my videos. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, but I should be good enough for uh, first watch, first watch, first uh, spot there. So if you don't have the troops like that, just uh, put in some, get some guys that can tank, some guys that aren't going to die, and that'll all his front troops are going to focus on. And then get, if you don't have uh, that many cannons, put in ballistas, if you don't have ballistas, uh, priest mages work, anything that hits multiple targets in there, and that the range is preferable, your priest mages, your um, cannons, uh, even bombers and stuff are going to do more damage than uh, your, you know, frost archers and junk like that, I would think, so... All right, my friends, thanks for watching this one, and we'll see you all next time. You guys have a good night out there.